basketball court and a zero edge pool. Plus, there are over 2,800 additional prizes with the odds of winning a prize being one in 25. Get your tickets now for the Dream Big Raffle by calling 800-816-6108. I would say this, but to me, the Irish are the funniest people in the world. If you find me pearls, give them to me, okay? <laughs> Everyone's a comedian. Anything else? Some greens. What do you think I am? A juggler? Can we have a picture, please? In Ireland, one of the greatest compliments you can give someone is to describe <laughs> them as a character. Because as every writer knows, it's the characters you remember long after you've forgotten the story. Fill your heart with Ireland. Discover more at Ireland.com. NBC4 News at 5 starts with breaking news. Right now at 5, breaking news. A driver arrested at a church in connection with a deadly hit and run. And a bummer for people hoping to cool off along the coast while some beaches have now been forced to close. Also protecting the planet, the Earth Day celebrations across Southern California. Small steps hoping to make a big change. And hello everyone, thanks for joining us. I'm Kathy Varan. And I'm Jonathan Gonzalez. We do begin with that breaking news. Police have just announced an arrest in a hit and run that killed a woman in Anaheim. Police say a woman in her 40s was walking early this morning when a stolen SUV hit her. First responders rushed her to the hospital where she died. The driver of that SUV also crashed into multiple gates and walls before getting out of the vehicle and running away. She walking every day, in the morning, all the time. Yeah, a lot of neighbors coming outside. A lot of neighbors, yeah. Now, about eight hours after the crash, officers say they responded to a church for a call of a suspicious person there, and that is where the sex acts on children. He has worked at various youth programs, including as a basketball coach at Granada Hills High School. Police say he had inappropriate relationships with children. They're now asking for any more victims to come forward. The L.A. County Sheriff's Department is asking help finding a missing girl. They say 13-year-old Melanie Jean Garcia was last seen in Willowbrook last night. The girl has been diagnosed with anxiety, depression, and PTSD. With the warm weather, today was a great day to head out to the beach. But if you're in Long Beach, you might want to think twice before going into the water. NBC4's Macy Jenkins joins us live now to explain. Macy. Now, Kathy, we're talking about 250,000 gallons of sewage that's made its way into the L.A. River and down to the Pacific Ocean through Long Beach. Now, L.A. County is it, L.A. County, excuse me, officials are advising beachgoers from Long Beach to Santa Monica to watch out because the bacteria levels are higher than state standards allow. I think we can all agree Saturday's weather is perfect for the first beach day of the spring. It's our quince and we're doing a photo shoot for her. But as enticing as the beach may seem, L.A. County health officials are advising beachgoers about high bacteria level in the water. Did you guys know about it before I told you? No. I think that it's very nasty because look at all these kids in the water and they don't know nothing about it. Yeah. And the water gets in their mouth and you don't know where that sewer water has been. According to Long Beach Public Health, a Thursday morning malfunction with L.A. County sanitation equipment in Downey caused a temporary sewage blockage. An estimated 250,000 gallons of sewage reached the L.A. River before crews could fully contain the spill. Watching the water is so wonderful for relaxation, but um, going in it, you'll definitely have to think twice. Complying with state standards, health officials shut down seven miles of beach in Long Beach. But L.A. County officials are warning visitors to Santa Monica Pier, Mother's Beach, and Cabrillo Beach in San Pedro that bacteria in the water is higher than state standards allow. I was debating it, but I think I'm too scared just because it's cold. And now that I know that it's been polluted again, uh, I definitely won't be going in. Now, L.A. County officials say they will continue to sample water in both the river and the ocean for bacteria levels. Now, there's no word on when those beaches in Long Beach will reopen because they can't say when that, those levels will come back underneath the state quality standards. I'll send it back to you, Kathy. All right, we'll be watching it. Thank you, Macy. Let's head to a different beach looking live from Malibu. Meteorologist Stephanie Olmo with your first alert forecast. It was pretty warm out there today. Yeah, beautiful conditions out there. We had it yesterday and again here today. Not as warm as yesterday, but yeah, we had temperatures above average for this time.